Uh, yes, hello with me, uh, the coach Daniel Daniel Hansen. Hansen. Hansen uh, from Sweden. Sweden, yes. Uh, hello, welcome. And <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you for this uh, amazing training here. You show us uh, some good, like you say, uh, most brutal, effective technique in K1 and kickboxing. Uh, can you show? Can you say something? Uh, why just this technique? And why why they are more effective? Uh, they are simple. Mm -hmm. They are um, you use all your body in the technique. So there's a lot of weight. You need weight and acceleration to make power. Mm -hmm. So you you don't punch with your arm. You punch with your whole body. You don't kick with your leg. You kick whole body mm -hmm. so the concept is, is uh, simple mm -hmm. okay. simple but effective okay, sorry. oh guys can you don't talk because we do it eternally hello shut up please <laughs> okay we're back <laughs> you can cut this out. or maybe not <laughs> or maybe <laughs> maybe not yes um can you can you what you can say about uh like polish fighters because you we talked before about this jostek yeah, he, he do it. Yeah, he do it. Something what you said is not work, but he so is work. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. One, one key for a million. Yeah, he has made my life difficult. Because <laughs> I've been explaining for s such a long time that just kicking with your leg doesn't work. You need to use your entire body. You need, you need, you need to follow through with your hip mm -hmm. to make damage. And then uh, Voshek out of nowhere just. Mm -hmm. snaps his foot and knocks down uh, one of the most dangerous fighters in the history, mm -hmm. uh, Vader mm -hmm. So uh, I can never say to anyone, it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> the whole world, the whole world uh, yeah. works. Polish power. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 really. And uh, actually I come from a lot of Kyokushin karate training. Mm -hmm. We kick that way, so of course it works. Mm -hmm. uh, the Kyokushin people knocks people down with that kick uh, all the time, but it's it's not effective in kickboxing. It's, it's only effective in a few a few situations. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's not a good basic technique. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that's what I meant. Uh, but now you know, <laughs> like, uh, they have to if they want to train it, of course. They have already mm -hmm. seen Warshak yeah. <laughs> taking down Valerado. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. What is like um, most... Uh, how to uh, invite young people to train in martial arts? How, how does this work in like, your country, in your area? And you think it's easy now in this, this age, these years? Yeah, it is. But I think uh, MMA is taking big part of the fighting scene, mm -hmm. uh, at least in, in Sweden it is, it's a very big interest in uh, MMA and Thai boxing, mm -hmm. because uh, in Sweden we have a great history of Thai boxing champions, mm -hmm. so Thai boxing has been a lot bigger than mm -hmm. kickboxing for a long time. But globally I think kickboxing is the best sport mm -hmm. for the audience. Mm -hmm. Is the most action, is the most explosive and ferocious mm -hmm. standing martial art. So uh, uh, it just needs to get out there on pay per view. Mm -hmm. More more people need to find it, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm sure people will love it. Mm -hmm. When you see your first uh, Gloria Gala, you will be hooked. Oh yeah. <laughs> so uh, the most popular sport in uh, your country is MMA and Thai boxing. Thai boxing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because it's, it's, it's nice, yeah. Because, like, uh, like I said before, you have this uh, king of the street where a lot of uh, uh, dangerous hooligans they, they fight over there because they yeah. have like they way to be over there. For me, it's like good, why not go over there and do it over there because this is a special place for these people who just like fight like that, yeah. And uh, I, I can say this is not for everybody, it's only for um, no, some really. tough, tough guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, but you know how, uh, like, you know, the, the, the martial arts can, like, uh, teach you know, people that control emotions, you know, discipline and this everything like that. Yeah. What is, like, um, what is age when it's good start training for, for you? At my gym, we start training kids five-year-old. Mm -hmm. Five years and up, 
So uh, five to ten years, a lot of um, uh, it's it's more important to learn discipline and, and gymnastics mm -hmm. and stuff like that. When then when you turn ten years old, you start working harder with the kickboxing mm -hmm. techniques. So when you're fifteen, you should be uh, ready. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to be right. Okay. Uh, you want to say something for people to like. Training, kickboxing, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. So T train hard and uh, just uh, start watching Glory Kickboxing. It's the most beautiful uh, fight sports in the world. You will love it. And uh, we wish Vader mm Hare -hmm. uh, some luck now mm -hmm. next weekend mm -hmm. in Belgium. And we wish uh, Vorsak even <laughs> bigger luck. <'cause laughs> I think he will need it. He will need it. <laughs> thank oh, you. Okay. Thank you very much, coach. <laughs> thank you. Mm -hmm.